Okay, the steps going into the house are not dimensionally uniform. It's not supposed to be more than a 32nd of an inch. And then the top step, at least the top step, let's see what we got here. Nine and a half inches. Nine inches. It should be ten inches. It should not be higher than seven and three quarters inches. They're not. That's why they look so steep, is because they're so narrow. So the steps are too narrow, less than ten inches. I'll take a note for myself here. The garage steps are too narrow. And then they come over here and we do not have seven and three um, seven foot six foot ten inches of height before we come in and start hitting our head on this guy. Hello? And in the attic, you know this access this presents its own challenges. Inspector Theater. Can I come in? Come on in, Mr. Fire. The door's open for you. Thank you. You always make me feel so warm and welcome. <laughs> I never get tired of that, but no. This door lock does not engage 100%. All right. But this should have a self-closing spring. Most of the things you care about are on this side of the door. All right. It wasn't required when this house was built. It should have a self-closing spring. Oh, we don't have that code in this town. No, it should have a self-closing spring. And then this glass. How long do you think? You know, a lot of fires start in the garage. The GFCIs start in the garage anyway. A lot of fires start in the garage. The fire will blow right through this window. It's not a fire radio window. But that's not why we're here. Oh, and, and then the light. We don't have a light in the crawl space. We don't have a light in the attic. But we got a light in the garage. And all three of those lights, including the two we don't have, okay, should have protective covers on them. So when they break, okay. And we're here for the garage car entry, motorcycle entry, lawnmower entry, the garage, overhead, door. That's what we're here for. And the receptacle outlet does not have a cover plate. You see that we've got a courtesy light. So we've got our emergency release cord here. We're going to pull it. Alright. We're going to have an emergency release. Now let's see if our door is balanced. And it is. How about that? You know, good news. Alright. So the, the door is balanced. You three bud? No. This switch is not supposed to be closer than five feet to the door threshold. The switch is too low. This switch should have a safety notice posted on it. All right. These wires should be held in place with insulated staples. The optic sensors should not be further from the garage floor than six inches. We should have pull handles inside and outside of the door. Okay, now I've made a business decision to do no harm in my inspection agreement. And, uh, the agreement is posted on the website and in the report. I'm saying that I do not do block tests. If the listing agent would like to come out here with a, a block, I'm going to have block test instructions baked into your inspection report. So if somebody wants to come out here and do a block test, by all means, I am just going to use the optic sensors. I'm going to take my big old flat zombie hoof. And I'm going to trudge across here. I'm going to push the button so I can notice. I'm going to come across here and I'll break the beam. Just like a dancing fool. And there we go. We got the safety reverse. So what do we learn besides the door not having self-closing, besides the door not having fire rated, besides having improper access, going through this, uh, the steps being dimensionally and not, not having the proper dimension, dimensions, the, Proximity of the edge and the door access, besides all those things, besides the light not having the cover, what about the garage car door? Okay, well, the control button's too low. The control button doesn't have a warning notice on it. The control button is not secured with insulated staples. 
our electric receptacle out, that cover plate's missing. And it is not GFCI protected. It wasn't required a million years ago, but it should be GFCI protected. It's a safety issue, so it has to be a deficiency. So, what else did we learn? We learned that we do not have safety notices posted on the inside of this door, just like we don't have one posted there. We learned that we do not have spring tension notices. I didn't mention this earlier. They no time like the present. We should have a spring tension notice on the corners, on the bottom corner of the first panel, and that's, that's that. We also learned that our optic sensors are too high from the floor.